tournaments, I believe. I think they're mostly going to Rhode Island tournaments. I know they've been playing a lot with Wex and people like that. Yeah, so I've been seeing them go to that. Fox player, this is kind of like my first big exposure to um, Deadstock. I thought it was Deathstock, sorry. So it says Deadstock on stream, so. Yeah, I feel like through, yeah, he usually gets like top three or like usually even wins 50 shots too. So he, like Wex and Ardalin too, so definitely no slouch. Oh, it just falls off stage too. So it was, it was, he, was, he was in the event of the ship and Ember just made it back and then you just saw Ed Zeko just fall off the stage. Ember is also ready for that up air, just being able to turn it into a grab, too. Just like playing, playing really good. That's why you're also at a low percent, too, so you can eat that hit, just turn it right back into your favor as well. It's another one, just ready for it again, it's the conversion. Off the cover, high, gets back when Ember's just right there lying and waiting for it. Calls out, yeah, then calls out the full hop with the Nair, gonna get the stock right there. Ember, yeah, playing just very, very good defense. Lying in wait for a lot of this. Yeah, let's get, get the needle, get to a shine instead. Okay, it's very good. Oh, that's the game. Like maybe they jump into it, maybe too. But yeah, I think of course he's kind of like reactionary. Yeah, but if you do it, it will bring it. It's a very precise but though. I think I've seen him do. I've seen him do a little bit. Uh, and I've seen like I see people like Jplex kind of throw out sometimes. But he also, he also has like a lot of pairs with the on edge guard too. He's like one of things he loves going for. Until yep, and instantly gets that punish. Very good. The soft hit too up the there, so that's just even better for Ember to get some more percent. Okay, still a low percent too, so before we get these hits, Crouch gets the just lying in wait. So many times to get these tech chases started. Yeah, it does. Yeah. CC grab like three times. Yeah. And Ember's just like made so much out of those CC grabs too. Tech chase, where it's like, you saw like the turn yeah, around fair stuff. Yeah, she's been looking good so far. Deadstock, yeah, just kind of like you want to mix up these because we're seeing a lot of like falling nair, like short hop nairs against like CC, which is those just turn to instant conversions. If you're just like a very good cheek, you just condition to be ready for those. And let's see if like um, they decide to change things up in their approach. It's the gets the grab. This could be a quick tech chase. I know it, we, we get the FD pick, but we see people like Jamie who we were talking about just like make these tech chases on FD to see if it's inescapable at times. Now here's the drill you were talking about too. Starting to use the drills a little bit more, making Ember SDI out instead. And Ember already kind of adjusting to it a little bit too. We're seeing like uh, she SDI out went for a dare on the counteract instead, but still alive. Let's try to fight this one back. I like the double forward tilt too, kind of set it up back up again in case you were confident getting it. Just got some more percent at the very least too. Needle grab, we get this to get up, trying to kind of break up the tech chase though, which we didn't see a lot of in the last game either. Until, oh, I thought she was gonna get like up till grab, we see plenty of sheep do that. 
speaking about Jamie, he just, he's like really good at like getting like the catch gets you up till on landing, it'll turn it into a grab or like another tilt at the very least too, which will be a giant like tech chase for Sheiks. something and you're just gonna catch it before she can do anything. Plenty of boxes, you've seen plenty of boxes do that IPW, local levels, regional levels, you've seen plenty of boxes just execute that really well. Yeah, like I think so that's how you kind of know like it's that's how you know it's good. Yeah. That's like on the board. We just like turned that game entirely around, but I think it's like the big thing was just you know he wasn't really doing like the, like the simple like three head and like snare approach. You're seeing like these drill mix up on these shine mix ups come in there too, making like I ever play a different defense too. But I'm gonna go to battlefield, get some platforms back in here uh, for everyone. Let's see if like how she kind of work around this with like Dead Spock's new strategy. Yeah, that's really hard to approach the uh, the, the shine drills. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of conditioned to, right? I'd like either eat the hit at low percent, just SD out, and then go for a grab immediately, or just try, or I might just get hit and turn into a wave channel and suddenly get some percent racked on beats, then all of a sudden out of that, I'm not going to be in that range anymore, or I can take those hits. Yeah, you get like thrown into the like, next, you know, like the throw combo into the shine, and the shine combo into the drill. Yeah. Um, I'm very good at the combo. Yeah, only like at 41% too, so it wasn't like really that high up, so which kind of sucks. You now we're kind of back more to play the field. Fox doing the running gun a little bit, 94% on Sheik, whereas Ember kind of needs to find a little more extra percent before she can really start knocking down Fox, get some more stuff going. But yeah, that's Fox is really playing more like this laser focus game as opposed to like a, a reproach and drill uh, game we saw in the last one. So. Dash attacks, get the setup at least. Waits for the side B. Good patience there from Ember to set it up, but Fox is going to go right up the top left and kind of get away from it afterwards, too. You're just trying to find an opening right now because you've got Fox such a juicy percent. That should be it. Okay, hold ledge, your Gucci. Two stocks apiece, 0%. Call out a halftime. Shout out to Zen. Had to throw it out there before it goes away. Going right back to it, goes for the drill. I can find much. Yeah, now here's here's some wave shots coming through. As you were talking, that one forward air from Ember just sent dead stock yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, that was an amazing reversal setup. And yeah, Ember's position where she has Fox such low percent, you just gotta find some opening right now to get into a knockdown state and then do a tech chase maybe. But, oh, gets still for the wave shine. Good defense, but how much longer she can she do it for? Such a good big screen for die moment. If your dead stock can't really afford to take any big combo from Ember's punish, we're just trying to find that one good hit. Two, two, two. Yeah, and get, gets close, gets cold blood. Yeah, exactly. She That's does have the most crazy recovery, so it's kind of like we're going to be forced to upbeat towards you, so I just hold the ledge. Because like, I was just worried if, like, if what would happen if Dead Stock got grabbed one more time, because it could have just been an Ember like uh, tech chase or an into punish, and then it could have been game. But nope. It sucks a bit better. Ready? I was curious if it 
Oh yeah. I don't think I've really ever seen her box too long. I know she, I've known her mostly as a sheep player most of the time. That's an up smash two with, the, with some dash dancing and just not letting that suck get some more hits in. You know, you got Fox in that good percentage range where he's gonna be knocked down a lot. Okay, he's trying to use as much as you can. Off the no tech. Another forward air, very, very good. Yeah, no burn at all. Just like she stayed away from it, just like wait for Fox into the climax of the up feed, just finished off completely. Oh, what a quick 13 2 as we yeah, saw how bad that is. I don't, I don't, I don't, he ought to take place a lot of that tech. It seems like he's taking place for a lot of that too. If we're just right there ready for it each time. This is so, this is so high roll. Like, you like get it. Like you get to just take shit to the ground. Alright, last stock. Dead stock trying to turn this around so he can advance forward to top 24. And we're trying to force a game 5. I find that gets the back air out of the shield. Down smash on no tech again. Yeah. And no tech was called out immediately too. I've seen a couple like no techs and this techs has been covered up by Ember a lot throughout this set too. I feel like a lot of the ones are, have either been capitalized off of tech in place and a no tech. And for she can see like a free down smash or like a free jab reset grab, stuff like that. But it's mostly been down smash this year. And Ember just keeps his momentum going in. Now we're gonna go to a game five. The stadium is the one here. I think the expected counter effect for this matchup. Great thing I'd be off the table. Here we are. a lot of nares come out too. We're seeing that's something better use of the nares than we saw in the first game. So there's a lot of soft hit nares that were crouch canceled a lot. We are seeing him get more mileage out of like, these strong hits. We are seeing scratch ups come out as a percentage. It's making good use to get that first stop. Now Ember going to turn things around a little bit, trying to get some openings, but no. Here comes down with the drill, kind of just sets Ember away and takes back center stage. And it's the second time with a full hop drill getting some percent too. But Ember gets the grab and trying to try to turn it around. Two, 
Again, that was on second place again. Never just right there. That's like just trying to chase down she. See, he's finding some success, but Ember's just kind of ready for it on defense for a lot of this too. She knows stalling makes it on the stage. Just staying away, just staying away. That's That's out of the jab too, good defense gets up to stay away. Trying to find a grab right now too. It's not really working. That stock is just like spacing outside of the grab. Well, gives us the first one for the stock. Make it like shift the power back in your favor, trying to like take things back. Like okay, you've actually done my trap card tech chase, but it's like it's not really working. They're not falling for it just yet. That stock is staying away. Yeah, it's just like. Yeah, he's like, he's like, I'm gonna stay right here and see what it is. Just kind of resets, it doesn't work out for him. Yeah, also just running past Sheik into a corner. You're seeing, like, you're seeing a lot of corners where they're playing out of the corner, or like Sheik is in center stage. You see Desmond kind of either roll in, get something, approach with a laser, dash in, shine, and they just clank instead. He just goes right back to it. It's working pretty well, and oh, I thought that'd be a win on Smash, but no. And we're just trying to find that one opening, because you got to watch the pirates if you take a good hit, that's gonna be it. And this is it. <laughs> yeah, like a cheeky back throw. Oh, it does oh, right there. Yeah, You're by the ledge. You're looking on the edge dangerously, brother. Goes right back to the, right the corner. Ember just can't make it back on stage just yet. There's, okay, first one. This is how it starts. This is how it starts, Silver. Rolls away. Oh, okay, gets stuck in shield instead. Reset. Uh, that, yeah, hold ledge, she, yeah, there it is. I thought there was like a very small chance, but just wasn't able to cover some of the tech chase, pat uh, tech chase patterns, but it's just such an uphill battle. Yeah, I mean, she got the opening she needed to, um, mm -hmm. and was definitely starting to make adaptations, but it was uh, too 